Matapos natin tanggapin si Jesus, the second person of the Holy Trinity, we should not stop. We should go on and be determined to receive the third person of the Holy Trinity. Who is the third person of the Holy Trinity? The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. When we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, that is the time you will be receiving the genuine anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Sa yung anointing power of the Holy Ghost, the more problems you experience, the greater the victory, the greater the glory. Woo! Amen. Praise God. What is anointing? Why anointing is so important to genuine disciples of Christ? And how can we experience the genuine anointing? One of the uh, biblical uh, uh, explanations ng anointing based on the contextualized revelation of the Bible, anointing is simply manifesting the divine election. Divine election. Ikaw ay tinawag. Ikaw ay pinili. For a divine purpose. Kung ikaw ay anointed sa business, magtatagumpay ka sa business. Maliit ang kapital mo, tinatalo mo yung malaki ang kapital. Wala kang connection, yung ibang mga negosyante may connection, tinatalo mo sila. Bakit? Nasa iyo ang Diyos eh. Nasa iyo ang anointing power of God. You have the divine competence. You have the divine ability. You have the divine skill in doing what you are called to do in your life. Inawag kang engineer? Andali mong magawa yung tungkulin mo. Pagiging engineer, bakit? Kung ikaw ay may anointing. Tinawag kang doktor, tinawag kang abogado, tinawag kang negosyante, tinawag kang housewife, tinawag kang, tinawag kang ama ng iyong pamilya. Any role in our earthly existence, we need the anointing of the Lord. If you, kung ikay pastor, Bible teacher, Sunday school teacher, exhorter, any 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 occupation any role na tinawag ka ng Panginoon teacher kailangan mo ng anointing so therefore anointing is simply divine impartation of God's ability kaya napakahalaga po ng tinatawag na anointing. Ngayon, yung anointing oil refers to the works and workings of the Holy Spirit. Ano yung Holy Spirit, Brother Eddie, sa mga first-timers? Doon po sa... Ang Holy Spirit po ay the third person of the Holy Trinity. Doon sa 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, King James Version Bible, everybody read. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. Ang nakarecord sa langit ay tatlo, God the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. Any yung word na capital W, 
Makikita natin sa John chapter 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God Ang sabi sa verse 3 para praising The world or everything was created by him for him and through him Without Him, nothing can be created into existence. Simplified version. All things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. John chapter 1, verse 3, King James Version Bible. So yung word ay walang iba kung hindi yung sinasabi sa John 1, 14. Everybody read. The word was made flesh. Ang ang salita na Diyos ay nagkatawang tao. And dwelt among us and we beheld His glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Ang liwanag po, yung Trinity ay nag exist God the Father, God the Son, the Word, the God's, God the Son and the Word, and the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. God is a triune being. Merong role ang God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Ito ho ay gusto kong part ng review natin para masapul po natin, masapul, ma-maximize natin ang ating mararanasan mamaya pagdating ng anointing oil service. Ano ang kaibahan ng water baptism? At saka ang baptism in the Holy Spirit Ang anointing power of the Holy Spirit Ang ibig sabihin niyan Ang pintuan niyan Ay yung baptism in the Holy Spirit Pag tinanggap natin si Lord Jesus Bilang tunay na tagapagligtas Panginoon Kinikilan nating Diyos na nagkatawang tao Buong puso na nagpasakop tayo sa Kanya Sinurender natin ang buhay natin sa Kanya Panginoon Hindi na ako ang boss sa buhay ko. Bababa na ako sa trono ng aking buhay. Ikaw na, Panginoon, ang umupo sa trono ng aking buhay. That, that is the meaning of surrendering our life to Jesus. Hindi mo pwedeng lip service. Lord, be my Savior, be my Lord. Pero hindi tayo bumababa. <coughs> tayo pa rin ang hari. <coughs> Tayo pa rin ang mayabang na si ako. Ang kalaban natin ay si akology. Pag tinanggap natin si Lord Jesus na tagapagligtas, kinikilala natin siya lang ang nakapagliligtas ng tao sa tagat-dagat ang apoy ng impyerno. Kinilala natin siyang manggagamot. Siya lang ang Jehovah Rapa, the God who healed His people. Exodus 15, 26. I am the God that healed thee. I am the God that healed thee. Tinanggap natin siyang deliverer. We can be delivered from any bondage of captivity and bondages and oppressions. Tinanggap natin siyang provider. He can supply your needs, your financial needs, your material needs, your promotion. He can supply all your needs, not according to the economic and political and social condition of the nation. But God, through Jesus Christ, He can supply all your needs according to the economy of heaven. According to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Palapaan natin ang Panginoon. Are you not excited? <laughs> ang mahalaga, by faith, nirelease mo ang iyong faith na ikaw matapos mong tanggapin si Jesus, kailangan tanggapin mo ang third person of the Holy Trinity. When you receive Jesus, the second person of the Holy Trinity, you are receiving what? 1 John 1.12, you're receiving the right to become children of God. John chapter 1, verse 12. Datapat ang tumatanggap lamang sa kanyang pinagkakalaoban niya ng karapatang maging anak ng Diyos. All human beings were created by God, but God is only one and only one begotten Son. Pag tinanggap natin si Jesus sa puso natin, saka lang tayo tatanggapin, saka lang tayo aampunin ng ating Diyos. Everybody read John 1.12.
the right, yung karapatang maging anak ng Diyos, yung karapatang maging citizen of heaven, tatanggapin mo pag tinanggap mo sino? Pag tinanggap mong reliyon? Pag tinanggap mong sekta? Pag tinanggap mong iglesia? Pag tinanggap mong anumang organisasyon? Hindi. Yun lang tumanggap sa Kanya. Ang mahalaga sa Diyos, sa kaligtasan, ay hindi ang, ang, ang religious membership or, 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 or affiliation. Hindi. Ang mahalaga sa Diyos ay hindi reliyon sa kaligtasan, kung hindi relasyon. Hindi reliyon. Relasyon. Paano tayo magkakaroon ng relasyon sa Diyos? Yung binasa natin kang ina, yan. John 1.12 Pag tinanggap natin si Jesus ang kaisa-isang bugtong na anak ng Diyos, tinanggap natin sa puso natin, aampunin tayo ng Diyos, bibigyan tayo ng right to become children of God, papasok ang Holy Spirit sa atin, hallelujah, matapos hugasan ng banal na dugo ni Jesus ang lahat ng ating kasalanang naman at nagawa, papasok yung Holy Spirit, yung ating espiritu na patay sa kasalanang minana kay Adan at kay Eva, biglang mabubuhay, regenerated, spiritual rebirth, or born from above, or born of God, or sa ibang salita, born again. Pag naborn again ka, hindi ka na immigrant, hindi ka na turista ka na lang sa lupa eh. Magiging ang permanent residence mo sa heaven. You will be an immigrant of heaven. Ayaw ba niyo maging immigrant sa heaven? Para pangan natin ang Panginoon. <laughs> Ngayon, Matapos natin tanggapin si Jesus, the second person of the Holy Trinity, we should not stop. We should go on and be determined to receive the third person of the Holy Trinity. Who is the third person of the Holy Trinity? The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. When we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, That is the time you will be receiving the genuine anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Pag nasa yung anointing power of the Holy Ghost, the more problems you experience, the greater the victory, the greater the glory. Woo! Amen. Praise God. Kaya desire, desire to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you receive the second person of the Holy Trinity, the Lord Jesus Christ, tinatanggap mo yung right to become children of God. Ano pa? 1 John 5, verse 11, verse 12. Ano pa? 1 John 5, verse 11, verse 12. Matapos mong tanggapin ang immigration paper or adoption paper as a child of God or the right to become children of God, meron kang tatanggapin. Ano pa? Makikita niyo sa 1 John 5, verse 11, verse 12. Everybody read. And this is the testimony God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. Whoever, whoever has the Son of has, has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Very simple. Alam niyo, ang kaligtasan, hindi pinahirap ng Diyos. Dahil gusto ng Diyos, lahat ng tao makalagay niya sa tanikala ni Satanas at magmana ng buhay na walang hanggan at walang mapunta sa impyerno. God does not wish a single soul to be perished in hell, but all should come to repentance. Pero araw-araw, maraming namamatay dire-diretso sa impyerno. Kasi yung gospel of love and salvation ni Jesus ay hindi nila natanggap. Nagma, naghari sa kanila ang fanaticism. Ano yung fanaticism? Yung paniniwala sa mga kinagisnan sa reliyon na walang hindi biblical. Namayani sa kanila ang mga uh, kung ano-ano mga deceptions ng Diablo. So kapag si Jesus Christ ay tinanggap natin, Tumatanggap tayo ng karapatang maging anak ng Diyos. Pangalawa, tumatanggap tayo ng buhay na 
walang hanggan. Eternal life. Pag wala sa atin si Jesus, magmembro man tayo sa lahat ng reliyon, impyerno pa rin ang baksak natin. Sabi ng Bible, it is appointed unto all men to die once and then immediately the judgment, Hebrews 9.27. Pag ang tayo napunta sa impyerno, hindi lang isang, lib- isang daang taon, libong taon, hindi lang isang milyon taon, hindi lang isang bilyong taon, trillion taon, throughout eternity. Kaya binayaran ni Jesus, binayaran ng Diyos ng napakalaking bayad ang redemption ng tao. The very life of Jesus in His blood. Kaya, yun po ang katotohanan. Ngayon, gusto kong bigyan ng emphasis itong revelation na ito. Si Jesus Christ, hindi makagawa ng anumang himala nung siya magkatawan tao until He received the anointing. Totoo ba yun? Basahin niyo ang Bible. Jesus Christ, walang nagawang himala. Ordinary ang buhay niya. Sa barangay ng Nazareth, katulad ng barangay Bunlo, ordinary ang buhay niya. Karpintero siya, tumulong siya sa tatay niya, sa carpentry. Marahil, businessman yung ama niya, nagpo-produce ng mga furniture, lahat. Lumaki siya. At the age of 30, doon na ngayon sinimula ng, ang misyon ni Jesus as the begotten son of God who became man. Pinakilala na ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili at the age of 30. Doon na nagsimula ang public ministry ni Jesus. Anong nakalagay sa Luke chapter 4 verse 18? Luke chapter 4 verse 18, New King James or King James or New King James. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for He hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and to give, to give sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. Luke chapter 4, verse, verse 18. Everybody read, especially those viewing this program through television and through live streaming sa Facebook. Everybody read. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Declaration to ni Jesus. Because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Luke chapter 4 verse 18, New King James Version Bible. Nagsimula na ngayon ang ministry ni Jesus. Hindi siya makapagsimula ng ministry without the Spirit of the Lord that anointed Him to preach. Anointing is the ability, the competence, the skill in working the works of God. Let me read NIV version para simplified na simplified. John chapter 1 verse 29 up to verse uh, 33. Up to verse 33. Everybody read NIV version. The next day, John saw John the Baptist, saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Sabi ni John the Baptist yan. Ito, siya ang kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng kasalanan ng tao. Walang ibang pwedeng mag-aalis ng kasalanan ng tao maliban si Jesus. Maliwanag. He is, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is he who will, who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Sino ang baptizer ng Holy Spirit? Jesus. 
Sinang baptizer sa water? Ang baptizer sa water, baptism of water, yung pastor or any designated elder or leader of the church. Baptize sa baptism of water, yung pastor or designated leader or elder ng church of God, church of Christ. Basta yung, yung sa Christian church. Sino nagbabaptize ng water? Yung tao, yung pastor o yung elder. Sino ang baptizer ng Holy Spirit? Hindi tao. Ang baptizer ng Holy Spirit ay si Jesus Christ. Siya lang. Kung hindi mo siya kilala, kahit ano pang gawin mo, hindi ka pwedeng mabaptize ng Holy Spirit. Pwede mong gayahin yung iba. Magkukunwari kang nabaptize ng Holy Spirit, nabuol ka, etc. Nagsalita ka ng kung anong lingwahe. Pero kapag hindi mo kilala si Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior and Baptizer in the Holy Spirit, fake yung anointing sa'yo. May mapakahalaga po itong teaching na ito, kaya gusto kong maintindihan ninyo eh. Hindi ito wholesale. Hindi ito discounted. <laughs> Hindi ito discount price. You have to know the truth because the truth will set you free. Hindi pwedeng tatamad-tamad tayo na ayaw nating maintindihan ang salita ng Diyos tapos tatanggap tayo ng mga greatest gifts of God. Hindi pwede yun. Nobody can shortcut God and nobody can manipulate God. Para pa natin sundan ang ating Diyos. Amen, Lord. So, tingnan natin sa buhay ni Jesus. Oh. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me for He hath anointed me anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, etc. Diniscribe ni Jesus yung nature and scope ng kanyang ministry sa Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Kaya nagawa ni Jesus yung nakalagay sa Matthew chapter 9, verse 35. Anong nakalagay sa Matthew chapter 9, verse 35? Whether New King James or NIB, anong sabi ron? Everybody read. Jesus went through all the towns and villages teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and, and healing every disease and sickness. In King James Version, Jesus Christ went to different cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and, every, and healing every manner of sickness and every manner of disease. Nagawa ni Jesus magpagaling. Nagawa ni Jesus magpalayas sa mga demonyo. Demonyo ng sakit, demonyo ng utang, demonyo ng oppression. Lahat ng problema ang binigay ni Satanas sa mundo ay nagawa ni Jesus palayasin because of the anointing power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Inuulit ko. Doon sa uh, uh, John chapter 1, nung siya'y bautismo ni John the Baptist sa water, Nung una, ayaw nga ni, ni John the Baptist. Sabi ni Jesus, baptize me in water. No, no, Lord. Ikaw ang Panginoon namin eh. Bobotis mo ka namin. Do it in order to fulfill the law. The word of, uh, the, 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 the so-called prophecy. They binaptize ni, ni John the Baptist si Jesus. Pag, ah, pag aho ni Jesus sa tubig, biglang ang Holy Spirit sa anyo ng kalapate ay, po, ay dumapo sa kanyang balikat. Narinig ang boses ng Diyos Ama, Behold, He is my beloved Son in whom I am so pleased. Mula noong mabaptize siya ng water, sem, almost simultaneously nabaptize siya in the Holy Spirit. Nagsimula na ngayon ang ministry ni Jesus. Nagawa niyang ikas out ang mga demon spirits Patungan ng kamay ang mga may sakit, palayasin ang mga demonyo. Liman libong lalaki sumunod sa kanya, walang pagkain sa magitan ng limang pirasong tinapay at dalang pirasong isda. Nagkaroon ng miracle of multiplication na busog lahat yung liman libong lalaki kasama pa yung kanika nilang asawa at mga anak. Ang sabi ng mga Bible scholars, estimated 20,000 people pinakain ni Jesus sa magitan lamang ng limang pirasong limang tinapay, limang pandasal at dalawang pirasong isda nagkaroon ng miracle of multiplication 
And because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, yung piso mo, pwede ing makabili ng kayang bilin ng sampung piso because of the miracle working power ng Diyos if you receive the anointing power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? And that is true. If you are a woman of faith, if you are a man of faith, walang imposible sa Panginoon. Sabi ng Diyos sa Jeremiah 32 verse 27, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Meron mong mahirap na gawin para sa akin? Sabi ng Diyos. Sabi nga niya sa, uh, sa Job 26 verse 7, I hung it, the earth upon nothing. Tinala kong mundo sa kawalan. Ang planet earth umiikot sa, sa araw. Kasama ng mga, sa loob ng Milky Way galaxy, kasama ng mga ibang planeta. Hindi nagbabanggaan, pero nakatala. That is the awesome power of God. Kaya sabi niya sa Luke 18 27, those things which are impossible with men are all possible with God. Kaya sabi niya sa Mark 9.23, nothing is impossible to those who believe. Kaya may teamwork ang God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in dealing with humanity, with mankind. When you receive Jesus, you receive what? You receive the right to become children of God, you receive eternal life, you were born again. Don't stop. Determine to receive the third person of the Holy Trinity, the Holy Spirit. When you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, you receive what? Listen carefully, please. Malapit na po akong matapos. Si Jesus Christ, three years lang nag-ministry, inihandog na ang buhay sa cross of Calvary na matay na siya. Sa pagkamatay niya, he, he destroyed the works of the devil through his blood shed. Nilibing, after three days, na buhay na magli. Nagpakita sa kanya mga alagad ng 40 days. After 40 days, he ascended unto the right hand of the Father, bumalik sa langit. Pero ang sabi ni Jesus, makikita natin, Bakit nagtagumpay si Jesus? Eh siya, Diyos siya. Listen carefully please. Nung magkatawan tao si Jesus, iniwan niya sa kalangitan ang mga katangian niya bilang Diyos. Nagkatawang tao siya. Taong tao na katulad niyo at katulad ko na gutom, na uhaw, na tutong umiyak. Yung kanyang best friend si Lazaro ay namatay. Umiyak siya. Totoong siya bugtong na anak ng Diyos. Totoong siya Diyos. Pero sa kanyang public ministry, hindi siya nanangan na siya Diyos o kapantay ng kanyang Diyos Ama. Kaya sa nakagawa ng mga himala at, pag, at mga maraming mimala, napatigil niya ang mga bagyo, ang mga lahat ng gawa ng Diablo sapagkat tinanggap niya ang gift of the Holy Spirit, tinanggap niya ang anointing power of the Holy Spirit. Yan ang purpose natin ngayon. Amen? Anong sabi ng, uh, anong sabi ng Acts chapter 10, verse 38? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost or with the Holy Spirit and power! And He went about doing good. He went about doing good. Healing! Those who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Gandagandang revelation. Acts chapter three, uh, Acts chapter ten, verse thirty-eight. Malapang natin ang panginoon, amen. So, what is the anointing? Alam na natin ang anointing sa different presentation. Why we need the anointing? Why? We cannot work the works of God without the anointing. Anong sabi ni Jesus? Babalik na ako sa aking ama, kayong mga disipulo ko, ipagpatuloy ninyo ang aking mga ginawa. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, verse 15 up to verse 18. 
Humayo kayo sa sanlibutan ay pangaral na magandang balita ng kaligtasan. Ang sumampalataya at mga botismo ay maliligtas. Ang hindi sumampalataya ay parurusahan. At ito ang tanda ng kapangyariang makikita sa mga tunay na sumasampalataya. Sa pangalan ko, magpapalayas kayo ng demonyo. Sa pangalan ko, magsasalita kayo ng ibang wika. Kung matuwa kayo ng ahas o makainom ng lason o lasunin kayo ng inyong kaaway, I, or accidentally, you have immunity in my name, paraphrasing. Ipapatong ninyo yung kamay sa may sakit. Ang may sakit ay gagaling sa pangalan ko. Sa pangalan ko. When you receive the anointing power of the Holy Spirit, your hands will be the extension of Jesus' hands. Kaya sabi ng Bible, yung kamay ninyo kapag kayo tunay na anak ng Diyos, ano man ang hipuin ninyo, pagpapala ang lalabas sapagkat extension kayo ng kamay ng Diyos. Ganong kahalaga. Hindi naintindihan ng marami. Bakit? Hosea 4.6 God said, My people are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. Ang aking mga anak ay napapahamak. Ang aking mga anak ay nawawasak ang buhay na pagsasamantalahan because walang kaalaman ng katotohanan. Desire to know the truth and the truth will set you free. John chapter 8 verse 32. So, kita po natin. Pag tinanggap natin si Jesus, tinanggap natin karapatang maging anak ng Diyos, immigration in heaven. Ano pa? Give up eternal life. Ano pa? Kandidatong matanggap natin ang baptism ng Holy Spirit. Itong huli kong babasahin. Listen ka puli. O pangalawa sa huli. Luke chapter 24 verse 49. Bago natin ito basahin, ang background, sabi ni Jesus, uuwi na ako sa aking ama. Unahin muna natin. John John 14 verse 12. John 14 verse 12. Ano ang sabi ni Lord Jesus? Everybody read. Verily, truly, very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. Wow! Magagawa raw natin yung mga ginawa ni Jesus kung believer tayo ni Jesus. Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. And they will do even greater things than this because I'm going to the Father. Totoo ba yan, Brother Eddie? Ang Diyos o, hindi pwede magsinungaling. Kaya there is a great difference between genuine believer and fake believer. Pag believer tayo ng Diyos, yung kanyang salita, pinapaniwalaan natin, pinagtitiwalaan natin, sinasampalataya natin sapagat ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi pwedeng ihiwalay sa Diyos. You cannot separate God from His Word or His Word from God Himself. Ang liwa-liwanag. Katotohan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, ang, ang mga tunay na sumasampalataya sa akin ay gagawin ang aking mga ginawa at higit pang mga dakilang bagay ang kanilang gagawin sapagat ako ibabalik na sa aking Ama. Kaya ang sabi ng Great Commission, humayo kayo sa sanlibutan, ipangaral ng magandang balita ng kaligtasan, ang sumampalataya at mga botis mo na maliligtas, ang hindi sumampalataya ay parurusahan. At ito ang tanda ng kapangyarihang makikita sa mga tunay na sumasampalataya, Mark 16, verse 17 up to verse 18. Sa pangalan ko, magpapalayas kayo ng mga demonyo, demonyo ng kahirapan ng buhay, demonyo ng sakit karamdaman, demonyo, demonyo, lahat ng klaseng demonyo manifested in the natural world. Mga spirits yan na manifested in the natural world. Magpapalayas ka ng mga demonyo sa pangalan ko. Hallelujah! Papatong ninyo yung kamay sa mesak ng mesak na gagaling sa pangalan ko. Ito ang authority, ito ang delegated power na binibigay ng Diyos sa kanyang mga disipulo. Pagpatuloy ninyo ito, ako'y babalik na sa aking ama. Pero bago niyo ipagpatuloy ang aking ministeryo, bago niyo ipagpatuloy ang aking ginawa sa lupa, maghintay muna kayo sa Jerusalem. Bago kayo, bago niyo labanan si Satanas, bago niyo labanan ang mga demonyo, maghintay kayo sa Jerusalem. Intay niyo ang pagdating ng ipinangako naming kapangyarihan. Read Luke 
Luke chapter 24, verse 49. This is very crucial. Luke chapter 24, verse 49. Hallelujah. Everybody, I'm going to send you what my father has promised, but stay or wait, stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Everybody say, until you have been clothed with power from on high. Sabi ni Jesus, babalik na ako sa aking ama. Natapos ko ng misyon ko rito sa lupa. Kayo na, na mga disipulo ko ang magpatuloy. Kayo na magpatuloy ng aking ministeryo. Mag, mag, magpalais ka ng mga demonyo. Patungan nyo ng inyong kamay ang may sakit sa pangalan ko gagaling. Ipag-pray ninyo mga dapat ipag-pray, etc., etc. Babalik na ako sa aking ama. Pagpatuloy ninyo ang ministeryo ni Jesus. Ang aking ministeryo. Pero, pero, bago kayo pumunta sa labanan, laban kila satanas sa mga demonyo, maghintay muna kayo sa Jerusalem. Tari ye in Jerusalem or wait in Jerusalem until you are clothed or endued with power from on high. Bakit pinaghihintay ni Jesus sa mga alagad doon sa Jerusalem bago lumusong sa labanan? Sapagkat si satanas, malakas. Tayong tao, kayang-kaya tayong pitikin ni satanas. Parang tayo flyweight. Si Satanas, heavyweight. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, bago niyo labanan si Satanas, bago niyo palayasin si Satanas sa inyong buhay, bago niyo palayasin ang mga army ni Satanas, ang mga demonic spirits, demons of, of, of ingit, de- demons of destruction in the family, demons of envy, demons of jealousy, demons of selfishness, demons of greed, demons of corruption, demons of lahat ng demons, lahat ng sakit karamdaman, lahat ng manifestation ng demonic spirits. Kaya niyong palayasin. Pero bago yun, bago yun, maghintay kayo sa Jerusalem until, until you are endued with power from on high. Pag wala pa sa inyo ang anointing power, eh para lang kayong flyweight. Isang sipa lang kayo, isang pitik lang kayo ni Satanas, turumpit na kayo. Ngayon, pag nasa inyo na, pag nasa inyo na ang anointing power, si Satanas nagiging flyweight. Kayo ay nagiging heavyweight. Amen! Palabangan natin ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord! Kaya, ang ibig sabihin ng anointing, Ang, 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 ang application ng anointing, basahin ninyo ang Acts chapter 1 verse 5. Acts chapter 1 verse 5, then verse 8. Everybody read. For John baptized with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Wow. This is baptism in the Holy Spirit. Immersion in the Holy Spirit. Ibig sabihin ng baptizo, baptism, baptizo, ilulubog ka. At pag nilubog ka, nakumbaga sa water, nilubog ka sa water baptism, sa, tinangay na ng agos lahat yung, yung, yung mga lumang ugali mo na masama. Bagong nilalang ka na. Pag tayo mo, you are a new creation. Anyone who is in Christ Jesus is a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Ngayon, yun. Ano yun? Acts chapter 1 verse 5. Tungkol yan sa baptism ng Holy Spirit. Pag ikaw na baptize ng Holy Spirit, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. It means you will be clothed or be endued with power from on high. What is the purpose of baptism in the Holy Spirit? What is the purpose of receiving the anointing power of the Holy Spirit? Ang sagot, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Everybody read with understanding. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Kaya ho, desire. First, desire Jesus. Second, desire the gift of the Holy Spirit. And when you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and God of your life, you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, masasabi nyo, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything. Pag nasa na si Lord ng totohanan sa kabuuan, hindi ka na mangangailangan pa. Ano pa ba ang po pwedeng magbigay sa'yo ng excitement? Nasa iyo ng the best. Amen! Eh, handito pa tayo sa lupa. May purpose tayo. Ano yung purpose natin? May mission tayo. Ano? Be a witness for Christ. Prove to the world that Jesus Christ is no longer dead. The cross, the cross is empty. The tomb in Jerusalem is empty because Jesus Christ, though He died on the cross 2,000 years ago, three days after His burial, He rose up from the dead. He is alive and continuing through the church of God, through the church of Christ, through the church, through the genuine Christian church, continuing His ministry in expanding His kingdom here on earth for the salvation of perishing souls, for the healings of the sick and deliverance of the captives and blessing of the poor and the needy. Yon ang tungkulin nating lahat. Magdala tayo ng kaluluwa sa paanan ng Panginoon habang may panahon pa. Baka mamayang gabi dumating ang rapture of the church. The precedent before the second coming of Jesus. Are you ready? Nagawa ba ninyo ang ating misyon? Ilang kaluluwang nakumbida mong pumunta rito para marinig ang salita ng Diyos na magbibigay ng buhay na walang hanggan? Ilang kaluluwang nadala mo sa Panginoon para mabago ang buhay at maranasan ng makalangit na buhay sa gitna ng napakagulong sanlibutan? Ilang tao ang nasiran mo ng gospel of love and salvation of Jesus? Pagka-graduate natin dito sa lupa, pagpasok natin sa eternity, kung tayo man ay makapasok sa langit, re-reviewin ang buhay natin, hindi na pwedeng bumalik. Sayang, dapat ginawa ko yung, dapat sana yung mga kaibigan ko, kapitbahay ko, kamag-anak ko, napadala ko, nadala ko man lang sa Sunday School, sa Divided Bible Seminar, sana man lang nakumbida ko kahit minsan sa JIL Prayer Garden. O anumang genuine Christ-centered Bible-based church, whatever the name is. Eh mga kapatid, bakit ino-open sa inyo ng Diyos ang gift Jesus Christ? He is the gift of eternal life. Ino-open sa atin ang gift of the Holy Spirit. Yun ang anointing power ng Holy Spirit na magbibigay sa inyo sa akin ng ability, divine competence, divine ability in working, doing our assignment from the Lord. Para pagharap natin sa Kanya, nagawa natin ang ating dapat gawin. Hallelujah! Sa Judgment Day. Amen? Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Tumayo tayong lahat sandali. Listen carefully please, just a moment please. Damandama ko po ang presensya ng ating buhay na Diyos sa lugar na ito. Totoo ang sinabi niya, if there are two or three gathering, truly gathering in His name, He is in their midst. The presence of God drives away the works of the devil. The presence of God destroys the yoke of the devil. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, The yoke of the devil or the wiles and the works of the devil shall be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Anointing oil refers to the works and workings and power of the Holy Spirit. Shortly, we will anoint you with oil. Oil Anointing oil symbolizes the awesome power, works, and workings of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ could not do any miracle at first, not until He received the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. You will begin to be victorious in anything you do once you receive this anointing. But 
I want to remind you, not every person can receive the anointing. Hindi lahat ng tao pwedeng tumanggap ng anointing of the Holy Spirit. Ang number one requirement para tumanggap ng anointing ng Holy Spirit, natanggap na niya ang gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Natanggap na niya si Jesus as Savior and Lord and God of His life. Yun ang number one requirement. Pero hindi lahat ng born-again Christian ay pwede magkaroon ng ganitong klaseng anointing. Kapag ang puso ng Kristiyano ay hindi malinis sa harapan ng Diyos. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall be for they shall see God. Beatitudes, Matthew 5, verse 8. Mapalad ang mga taong may malinis na puso sila lamang ang makakakita sa Diyos. Matthew 5, verse 8. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand on the holy ground of the holy God? Only those with clean hands and a pure heart. Psalm 24, verse 3, verse 4. Sino lang ang makatatayo doon sa tuktok ng Panginoon sa presensya ng Diyos, yun lamang may malinis na kamay at may malinis na puso. Maraming Kristiyano hindi na transform ang buhay. Tamad mag-meditate ng Word of God. Tamad manalangin. Kumu na born na ginakala nila, hari na sila. Hindi nila alam, pwede silang gamitin ng jablo sa maring, madaming kaparaanan. Kailangan ang puso natin ay sanctified. Sabi ng Diyos kay Joshua, Joshua 3.5, Tell my people, be sanctified, be sanctified, be holy, be holy. Because your God will do wonders and miracles tomorrow. Kailangan natin maging sanctified. Sabi ng Hebrews 12 verse 14, Pursue peace and be holy. For no, without holiness, no man can see God. Umusa lang kayo ng may ikling panalang ito. Panginoong Yesus, linisin mo ang aking buhay, ang aking spirito, ang aking kaluluwa, ang aking katawan, ang aking buong pagkatao. Ugasan mo po ako, linisin ng banal mong dugo na dumaloy sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Puspusin mo ako ng iyong kabanalan, ng iyong katwiran. At ngayon, puspusin mo ako ng iyong Espiritu Santo, ng iyong kapangyarihan ng iyong karunungan ng iyong pag-ibig. Tulungan mo kong mabuhay naglilingkod sa iyo ng buong katapatan. Salamat po, Panginoon. Huling awit, Spirit of the Living God, Paul present me. Huling awit, Say, sing it prayerfully. The living God. The living God. Fall fresh on me. Fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God. Fall fresh on me. Fall fresh on me. Break me, melt me, mold me, and fill me. Yes, Lord. This is our prayer. 
This is my prayer. This is our prayer. Pagpagaling na kamay, patungan mo, Panginoon, ang bawat anak mo na naririto na nakikita ang pagkauhaw sa iyo. Panginoon, padaluin mo sa kanila ang regalo ng banal na Espiritu. Father God, release the gift of the Holy Spirit to your people who are hungry, hungry for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Padaluin mo, Panginoon, ang fresh mighty anointing power of the Holy Ghost sa buhay ng bawat lalaki at babaeng narito na nagsuko ng buhay sa iyo, nagre-dedicate ng buhay sa iyo. Abotin mo silang lahat, Panginoon. Maging ang milyong-milyong sumusubaybay sa television program na ito, Panginoon. Maging ang sumusubaybay sa live streaming na ito in the four corners of the earth. Abotin mo sila ng iyong mahabang kamay, makapangyarihan, mapagpagaling na kamay, mapaghimalang kamay. Padaluin mo, Panginoon, ang fresh anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Receive, receive, receive. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Be filled and be refilled with the fullness of the Holy Ghost. Be filled and be refilled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Receive the fresh anointing power of the Holy Spirit. Receive the fresh anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Receive. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Receive, receive, receive the fresh anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Receive. You will receive power and you will be witnesses for Christ. Receive them all. Receive the mighty anointing power of the Holy Spirit. With all the blessings from heaven, Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost with all the benefits of Calvary, salvation, healings, deliverance, financial freedom, even prosperity, even promotion. All the blessings of the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Salamat, salamat, Panginoon. Hallelujah! Pinupuspus mo ang iyong mga tunay na anak sa lugar na ito. Maging sumusubaybay sa television program na ito, Panginoon. Wherever they are in four corners of the earth. Hallelujah! Inaabot mo sila. Yes, maraming nanonood sa programang ito. Pinupuspus kayo ng kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu. Tanggapin ninyo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome the gift of the Holy Spirit. Welcome, welcome all this anointing power of the Holy Ghost with all the blessings from heaven. Receive, receive, receive all heavenly blessings. Receive, receive all the benefits of Calvary. Hallelujah. Salvation for you and your loved ones. 
healings for you and your loved ones, deliverance for you and your loved ones, even God's answers to all your prayers, hallelujah. By the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of God, receive, receive, receive. Banal na Spirit 